Now they say never work with animals or children, but Sydney's Belvoir Street Theatre believes it is a risk worth taking as it launches into a new era under new leadership. Belvoir Street Theatre has been transformed into a giant glass zoo cage of sorts, complete with an actual duck, Bob, for this reworking of the classic Henrik Ibsen play, The Wild Duck. No ordinary duck. He's been really wonderful, I think, you know, mm. and very well behaved and I'm sure quietly stealing the show when we're not looking. And while the glass keeps Bob from waddling away, it has a more important function, helping to create the fourth wall and a sense of voyeurism. It gives the audience a window through which to watch moments that essentially they're not supposed to be watching. And it reminds the audience that drama is actually a viewing of moments we would never share with friends of ours even or our relatives. Guess have aged a bit. The glass also throws up reflections of the performers, adding a sense of surrealism. Well, you can see your own reflection as well at, at certain points, which you must love. Hmm. Um, now, so that's interesting, you know, whether to engage with that or to go, no, look through that. The original play had 18 characters. This new version has been crunched down to six, exploring what happens to a family when skeletons in the closet are finally revealed. This is the first production for Belvoir under the new leadership of artistic director Ralph Myers. He'll be hoping that this radical reworking of the wild duck will help him put his stamp on a company that was steered by Neil Armfield for 16 years. Adrian Rochella, ABC News, Sydney.